Welcome to the Booze Buddy Update for Monday, September 26 of 2022. Today's stories, vodka life hacks, boozy boot collab, and homebrew FAQs. It's brought to you by Green Mountain Payments, helping local business owners save thousands of dollars by providing complimentary credit card processing equipment and zero-cost credit card processing. Visit GreenMountainPayments.com or POSN0.com today. Well, vodka life hacks are a thing, and an old one has been rediscovered, and it's being spread around on social media sites like TikTok. When you buy vodka, you'll often see that it's distilled several times and then filtered through charcoal. So, people got the idea years ago you could use an inexpensive home water filter like a Brita or Pure to remove some of those impurities and off flavors in cheap vodka. Does it work? Well, people seem to think it does help smooth out the vodka, but importantly, it doesn't remove any of the alcohol. Of course, the unsuspecting person might come along expecting water and chug some, chug some vodka, so be careful if you live with others. Don't expect a $15 bottle of vodka to taste as good as something that's two to three times more expensive. But hey, if you have a cheap vodka and a charcoal filter pilcher, give it a shot. And you can get the link in the show notes. And a boozy boot collab that's going to get some people walking into their local bottle shop. Thankfully, it's with Wolverine's Thousand Mile Boots and Buffalo Trace. Both good reasons to walk. Huckberry brought Buffalo Trace and Wolverine together for the special edition boot. Unfortunately, while there's a special edition boot, not really a special 1,000 mile edition of Buffalo Trace that I would have wanted. But still, the iconic boots are pretty darn nice, even though they tip the $400 25 Price point. If you, like many other people, look for good boots under the $400 mark, I have a recommendation for a less expensive pair. A channel I follow on YouTube called Rose Anvil just did a teardown on Thursday's USA Made Lager Model. I'll link to that in the show notes. And of course, for the collab boot, check out the show notes as well. And homebrew FAQs, not always hard to find, but is it organized? Are they the questions that you have or is it just a random assortment? Well, this is a pretty good list. Is it the end all be all of frequently asked questions about home brewing? Probably not, but they are straight up answers. Not the kind you get when you go to a Facebook group and get shamed for not knowing the differences between making maybe a liquid yeast and a dry yeast or electric versus gas fired brewing systems. If you want a great book on how to get started, two I can definitely recommend that are both rated five stars on Amazon are linked below and also the link to the FAQ site in the show notes. So check those out. The books, by the way, The Complete Joy of Brewing, fourth edition by Charlie Papazian and How to Brew Everything You Need to Know to Brew Great Beer Every Time by John J. Palmer. Hint, clean everything really, really well and then sterilize it really, really well. Remember to stay safe, drive sober, and support the booze that supports your local community. And always find the show notes and links at boozebuddyupdate.com.